Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another video on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts for the Wild Bunch. I have a really cute tag to share with you today and it is a Marie Antoinette tag. I haven't made a tag in a while um, and I thought that I would do that for you. I have actually had a lot of requests from people asking me if I can do a tag so um, I thought I would make this one a Marie Antoinette theme. Let me share that with you this morning. Um, I, I really love the way that this came out and what I had done was use a regular standard size shipping tag um, and the base of it what I normally do uh, for these vintage type tags is use the vintage photo and tea dye from Tim Holtz line of inks uh, through Ranger and I gently use that with a um, the a blending sponge and then I stamped with a French stamp uh, some French wording very pretty and it's very faint I don't know if you can really see see it um, but you can certainly uh, see this on my Facebook channel where I had posted this a few days back um, and uh, it really looks very cute. I have these domino uh, sized photos that are there with some bling around it uh, for uh, Marie Antoinette just to be a, a little bit uh, blingy. Um, I kind of really like the way that looks also kind of showing off the photo a little bit more. And um, way at the bottom you can see here that I have some really pretty trim that has these little beads hanging there and uh, that are in like a mauve color and then right on top of that I have some gold trim and um, getting into the wild oak crafts of course the beautiful uh, roses here and I wanted to go in the blue and brown because I wanted this to be a little more vintage rather than shabby and because there's a blue feather here in this photo and she's wearing a blue dress with a blue feather I thought I'd go with the blue flowers taupe brown and some other blue ones and cream colored flowers and some burgundy and those tiny little roses there just really very elegant. I have some free pearls that are also uh, floating around there in the background um, and some seam binding as well. So as you can see some of these flowers like this really large blue one uh, might look a little bit smaller uh, than the normal size and that's because I took off one of the layers of the roses and I also did that for the brown and the taupe as well because this was a tag I wanted to use these flowers they're just so beautiful and striking and I thought that the pieces that were left over I would go ahead and use those way at the top by just kind of squishing them together like that gluing them and then gluing them down with hot glue onto the tag and as you can see they actually look like they are another flower uh, that came from the bunch but it's not it's just one layer of a flower that I kind of scrunched together um, and use that as a flower on its own so nothing went to waste and again those burgundy roses kind of break up the blue and the burgundy and if you play your cards right with these you can really basically make mix any color uh, depending on which color is lying next to another. For example, I have the, the brown and the blue which really go nicely together anyway and then there's the taupe and then I've got the, the burgundy rose in there. Just really pretty. And then if you can see on this side I have a very tiny uh, small small rose in there and uh, that's also on this side as well if you can see that with the hip rose which is one of my favorites as well um, that's also outstanding flower and another tiny tiny blue flower there just came out really very pretty very elegant I have it standing on a wrought iron easel uh, which is kind of like a frame almost you can put like a frame in there and I have this sitting like this in my craft room I just thought it was really very pretty um, and I, I really like making these tags I used to make a lot of tags I mean I have a box with probably over a hundred tags in them that I made over time 
And I have to say that the Wild Oak Crest Flowers really does make an, an outstanding presentation on anything, basically, that I use them on. So, And um, I really hope that you enjoy seeing this tag as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you click on the drop-down box below, you'll find all the item numbers uh, for the products that were used in this video. So thanks so much for stopping by today, and I hope that all of you are doing well. Have a great day. Bye.